this is James Calm, and we're going to do a rough cut report here on an exhibition here at Valentine in Ridgewood. And here is the artist, Rick Briggs, sometimes known as the Painter Man. Well, congratulations, Rick. Tell, tell us about the show. Uh, thanks, Lauren. Um, we can walk around and sort of look at we some can things. Walk around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's start out with this big one here. Okay. Um, well, I've been trying to make abstract and representational paintings. Um, and uh, let's see. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Just I'm, I'm embarrassed. Let uh, it out. Okay. Um, I know that when I first became uh, aware of your work, you were doing kind of uh, stripe paintings or almost plaid-like paintings, and then you sort of had a crisis, right? And went through a whole kind of several year period of sort of switching from pure abstraction That's to right. figuration. I had stopped painting for a while. And then I, when I came back to painting, I started making a, a series of paintings called Painter Man. The Painter Man, and, and a lot of the work that you're doing here, I see also kind of references painting. Now, is this kind of like the back of a canvas? Is that what we're looking at here? That is certainly one, uh, that one. Is certainly one reading of the painting. <laughs> or it could be just a big abstract uh, kind of uh, formalistic painting. But I did uh, title this painting for Donna, and that would be Donna Nelson. But I didn't make it for Donna Nelson. I made it as an uh, as a abstract painter, finding a shape, finding a form, working with color, and then realizing, yes, it looks like the back of a painting. Um, and then, so I was calling it painting for a while, and then I realized that I've been looking at Donna's work for such a long time and she had been working on the back of paintings and so right, that, that's right that's how that got tied in um, but basically with this series uh, Lauren James Calm please James Calm did I say Lauren? <laughs> um, we don't know who that guy is I have uh, I returned to my uh, sense of touch that I used for years in my abstract paintings now, I know that when you had your Painter Man show that you were also using some kind of uh, strange materials. Uh, That's right, I was using was it? plaster weld and plaster weld. Alkid house paint and my, I was using my old drop covers. Are you still doing that or is this pretty much straight, uh, this is, is it acrylic? This is uh, oil, oil? oil on canvas. This is artist oils on regular uh, canvas. And um, there you got your... Uh, bucket of paint and your paintbrush is that the artist table is that what it kind of is yeah paint pan now I see that yeah plaid drop cover well I like the way that you're kind of taking these uh, almost kind of cartoony figures but reducing it down to a point where they really do become basically just abstract shapes and forms here does this have a title uh, observer. That's what I was thinking, a heart viewer. Yeah. And I wanted to, uh, the number of these paintings uh, depict people just looking, artists or painters, uh, just looking. So I, I kind of like that idea of, uh, of focusing on the, uh, on the idea of perception. Also, I see in, these, in this new series that a lot of these pieces have the kind of a, um, a painted frame. How does that how does that fit in with kind of your thinking about abstraction and figuration? Well, oh, there's the real painter, man. I think uh, the frame idea came in uh, because I wanted to think of it as a sort of quotation mark. Um, I think there is a, a, a certain amount of discomfort of just presenting the image, and so I think by putting a frame around it, it was sort of I like putting quotation marks around the image, if that makes sense. Sort of uh, making it saying this is a piece of art, or this is a this is a painting, as opposed to just something happening on a on a in a rectangle or in a square. What are the title of these pieces? Uh, this is the called titles. Line Painter, and this is called uh, Ochre Icon. The line Painter. And, and these paintings, like Line Painter and this painting over here, Bright Yellow Room, refer to a series of abstract paintings I made in the mid-90s. 
that were composed. Well, you've been painting since the Art. 90s? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. I, I actually like your little uh, darker palette here. Again, we got the paint bucket. And what is that, your shelves and easels in the background? That is indeed my, uh, my paint rack in the background. So when you look at figurative art, who do you look at? Who do you think about? What inspires you? That's a, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I'm not thinking of individual people. Um, of course, uh, I have my favorites through the years, like uh, Gustin and Matisse. Gustin, I was thinking Gustin, yeah. But, you know, uh, or uh, a Keith Haring. You know. <laughs> that could be a Keith Haring, like, uh, image. Um, but, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, <laughs> Um, you know, hopefully that over time you uh, assimilate your influence. I think also uh, Joan and that, Brown. You know Joan Brown? I'm a fan of Joan Brown. Yeah, she, uh, uh, I can see Joan Brown in here. But I, I, uh, this is Jeff Davis is horning in here on this conversation. That's okay. But, hey, uh, hey, hey. But, uh, but at any rate, yeah. I'm, uh, um, I hope that you, you know, one assimilates their influences over time. So, but when you're balancing this out, you would be talking about the figurative artist. Who, who do you look at as far as your, as your abstract uh, inspirations? Um, Anybody well, pop you, into mind? You know, I've been making abstract paintings since 1975, so. Wow, back when you were like two years old? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. So, so, okay, oh, so, so much you're- Much older, much older. So, uh, James, I think you're about three years older than me, or two years older than me, so, yeah, I've been making paintings for quite a long time. So, but when you think about uh, the contemporary abstract painting and, and people that are kind of intriguing for you, any names pop up? Well, I mentioned Donna Nelson. Donna Nelson, uh, yes. Uh, uh, great Stanley painter. Whitney was a teacher of mine. And, Stanley, uh, great artist, Harry lover. Harry is a- Sure. Someone Great. I admire greatly, and sure. I mean, and there's many others, but okay. Rick, does the show have a title? The show does not have a title. Does not have a title. It's just and Rick Adam Briggs Simon. and Adam Simon. Adam's not here, and we're just gonna wrap up with a quick pan of new paintings by Rick Briggs here at Valentine Gallery on Seneca Street in Ridgewood. Uh, thank you, James, and thank you, Kate. Appreciate nice. It.